All right, so let's answer a number of uh, what I call X type 1 problems. These mean to ask you to convert this type of a problem into a problem about uh, a standard normal. So converting this variable and these values into their standard normal equivalent, then we can use the, the Z score table to find our answers. So first we want to find what's the chance, probability, proportion, percentage of observations that lie between 60 and 68 where this variable is normally distributed with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 2. Let's convert 60 into its standard deviations from the mean minus the mean divided by the standard deviation and convert 68 into its standard deviations from the mean. When we do this then, the x gets converted into a z-score, and now what we really want is the probability of uh, the standard normal being between negative 2 and 2. We know that answer using the standard normal table smaller than negative 2 has an area of 0 0.0228 smaller or less than 2 has a uh, area of 0 0.9772 taking the larger minus the smaller gives us our answer the answer is 0 0.9544 or 95.44% how about the next problem What's the chance that this variable, the curve of the x distribution, greater than 82 is what we're looking for? So by standardizing, we convert x into z and 82 into, into 9. So what's the chance that a z-score is greater than 9? Well, we already learned what that is. We don't have to look on the chart. We know that that's outside the range of values where we say the chance of being out there is so small, we're going to call it 0. So the answer is 0. How about the next problem? Converting 55 and 65 into the standard normal um, or the standard deviations from the mean of 64. Remember, we, we continue to use the distribution given. So what's the area between negative 4.5 and 0.5? We want the area in between these smaller than negative 4.5, well we know that that's off our chart and we agreed that would be an area of zero under that and then um, behind 0.5 looking up on our positive chart that's 0.6915 so taking the bigger area which is all that minus the smaller one leaves us the in-between the answer is just 69.15 minus zero or 69.15 percent. And the final problem. Final problem, standardizing, turning x into z and these values into negative 7 and 2. The area in between those is found here. I'm showing this way off the chart because it is um, smaller than negative 7. We agreed anything smaller than negative 3.49 would be I'll have an area of zero to the left, so that's zero, and then to the left of two is uh, 97.72. So taking the bigger minus the smaller of zero just gives us the answer: 0 0.9772 or 97.72 percent.